So it's open day. Do you have any advice for students that are thinking about studying engineering? Uh, I'd say just follow your interests and do what uh, your heart tells you to do. Um, but also try to join one of the student-led projects because you get some really good hands-on experience with them. Um, I heard you guys just won the championships, the world championships. Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, lucky enough to take home the trophy from Brazil. Um, we came first in the SPL league, which means that everyone's using the same robots and uh, it's all about the brains that you put into them. There's BlueSat for people who are interested in space hardware. There's the SunSwiss solar car. There's Redback Racing. There's Create, who build quadcopters. For, you know, any kind of interest, there's someone who's out there building really cool stuff and using the skills you learn in university. I'm from a student-led team called SunSwift, which is UNHW's solar car racing team. In July this year, the whole SunSwift team had headed down to Melbourne to break a world record for the fastest electric vehicle over 500 kilometers on a single charge. The record has hadn't, hadn't been broken for about 26 years and we smashed it by about 30 kilometers an hour. BlueSat is a university student association involved with building stuff for space. So um, until very recently, we, we were spent time working on the development of a satellite, hopefully on a stratospheric balloon. So we're going to rig it to a balloon that's going to be really big. Um, I think it's going to be order of the size of a tennis court at least big. So yeah, we, we, like, we build stuff for space, we get together every Saturday and we have a great time. You get a chance to meet, hire your students who are in the place you'll be in a couple of years. You get a chance to really get your hands dirty using you know, actual hardware and it gives you perspective on everything you're doing in class and it gets you building really cool stuff, which is you know, why we're here.